Stay one. Genesis one to two. Good, good, good. God, who first planned and designed the universe, was overjoyed as he created this world. First point. Genesis chapters one to two explains to us that God designed time, space, and people in their entirety. All things and creatures belong to God. God designated a part of the land and created the Garden of Eden, and He gave us hope of the new heavens and the new earth. As God created the whole universe from sky to earth in Genesis one, He will renew everything, as He confirmed in Revelation. Second point, Genesis chapters one to two contain good news, the gospel. This part contains the beginning when God created the universe, where everything can be explained by the laws of causality post-creation. Up to the point of Jesus' crucifixion, that contains pre-creation and providence, which ends with Jesus saving every person through His sacrifice. All of this is God's gift and good news for us, the gospel. Third point: God's method of creating the universe means that God spoke. In other words, the universe was created. With God's voice, God spoke out, saying, "Let there be light," and it was so. The Bible, God's words, was actually spoken first and written down in text afterwards. This is why the Bible should be read out loud. Our faith comes from hearing the Bible, the good news. Fourth point. Genesis chapters one to two is used later to help Job realize that he is a part of God's creation. Job's friends tried to console him, but this soon turns into heartfelt questions about the sins that Job must have committed. Then Job directs his question to God. But then he is unable to answer any of God's questions in return, questions that originated from Genesis chapters one and two. Job responds as follows: "I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes." He finally realizes that he is a mere creation by God. Every day we are reminded that, like Job. We are all a part of God's creation. Fifth point: Genesis chapters one to two records that God saw that all He had made was good. In other words, the Bible records God's emotions from the very beginning. It is recorded that God saw that all He had made was good. But the happiness of God in Genesis chapters one to two changes drastically during Noah's flood incident into despair, and further, his heart burns with compassion during the time of Prophet Hosea, which is finally expressed through Jesus' gentle and humble heart. Like this, the Bible contains many expressions of God's emotions. Is hot. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today, as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful. And beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.